Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here we are underneath our 1990 GMC K1500 and we're going to be tackling one of the easier projects that we've done, an oil change. So let's get started. Here is a look at the bottom of the oil pan. Here's our oil drain plug. All we need is a 9 16th inch socket and we'll go ahead and break this loose. Position our drain pan underneath and we'll remove the drain plug. Okay, so we've slowed down to just a drip. I'm going to temporarily just reinstall the drain plug. just so that it stops dripping on us. And next, I'm gonna get at the oil filter, which is all the way up here above the differential. It's in a pretty terrible spot. So I went ahead and cracked it loose already. I used just a regular oil filter wrench. But before we unscrew it, I'm actually gonna just take some aluminum foil. This is just out of the kitchen. I'm gonna put it here underneath the filter, kind of like a little funnel so that the oil from the filter when I unscrew it will run down into the drain pan here. Otherwise you're going to drip it all over the top of your differential and front U-joint and everything else and it's just going to make a mess and sling everywhere. So we'll, we'll just use this aluminum foil and hopefully it does the trick and catches all the oil coming out of that oil filter adapter. Okay, so I've got it cracked loose. We can see some of that oil starting to come down right now. Drip into the pan. Working so far. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me tilt it over for you a little bit. We've got a nice stream of oil coming right down that aluminum foil. We'll let that drain for a second before I unscrew it any further. So this trick works pretty good because at the end we can just crumple up the aluminum foil and throw it away. No cleanup. There we go. So I've just removed the filter. I'm pouring it down the aluminum foil. I'm going to tip it back up and slide it out. So there we've got our filter out. And we'll keep the aluminum foil in place here and let the oil filter adapter drain out. Everything is done dripping. We'll pull our aluminum foil down. And I want to just take a rag and wipe off the sealing surface of this oil filter adapter where the new gasket is going to ride. All right, so that looks good. I've got my new filter here, just using an AC Delco filter. We'll link the part number in the description. I've also already went ahead and applied just a thin film of oil to the uh, sealing gasket of this filter. So I took some of our new oil and just used my finger and and coated the sealing ring of this new gasket just all the way around the edge. Just gonna hand tighten. And then about a ah, quarter turn or so past just hand tight. I'm not going to use any tools that should do the trick. So our new filter is now installed. Okay, so the last step is to reinstall our drain plug and we're going to use a new washer. So we'll link the part number in the description below. You can pick these up pretty much at any 
auto parts store. So we'll just slide that on. And that's it, just need to snug it up, nothing too crazy. Okay, so the next step is here under the hood. We're gonna remove the oil filler cap on the driver's side valve cover. We'll put our funnel in. You know, we're gonna be using a kind of a special oil today, so this is something I haven't used before. It's an ANS oil product, and it's called Z-Rod. The benefit here, it's a high zinc formula. So these older engines, like these TBI engines, still have flat tappet cams, and a lot of the newer oils are not formulated for flat tappet cams, so I decided to go with a higher zinc oil, it's still a synthetic oil, so we're going to give that a try, run it for an oil change, and just see how things look. I uh, might even do an oil analysis when we do the next oil change. So we're going to add five quarts total. All right, so first start with the fresh oil change. We'll let the oil pressure build, let it run for a minute before we check the level. We've let the engine cool off for a couple of minutes, let all of the oil drain back in. We're now gonna check the level on the dipstick. So I'll go ahead and pull this out. Wipe all the oil off, make sure it's nice and clean. And we'll put it back in. So let's take a look. There we go. So to me, it looks like we are right at the full mark. So what I'm looking at is where the oil is going all the way across that dipstick. I actually checked this a little bit earlier off camera because we had only added four and a half quarts and it was down in this, just the hashed area. So I went ahead and added our last half a quart so we have the full five quarts. And it looks like, it's probably hard to see on camera, but it's just right under that full mark. You'll always have a little bit of oil kind of trailing up the dipstick. Try to ignore that. You're looking for where it's full all the way across the dipstick. All right guys, so that's all there is to the oil change. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. We've still got a lot more projects to go on this truck.